Welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, we're going to talk about the Gibson Demo Shop and what it was like for me to purchase my dream guitar from them. For fun, I often go to Reverb.com to check out the latest guitars in the online Gibson Demo Shop. You can find some very good deals there direct from Gibson, which may be hard to find anywhere else. Now, if you're not already familiar with the Gibson Demo Shop, what they do is fairly simple. Gibson sells some of its guitars that are prototypes, demo units, and modified versions there. The good news is that the prices are cheaper than the standard factory instruments. Gibson says that each guitar goes through a 35-point inspection before being listed and are offered with a two-year warranty. Now, the Gibson Demo Shop is based in Nashville, Tennessee. I had often wondered what it would be like for a regular guy like me to buy a guitar directly from them. And the point was not to buy just any guitar, but to search for and see if I could find and purchase the guitar of my dreams that I've wanted for more than 10 years now. This guitar being the Gibson ES335 Dot in an all-natural satin finish. I'm not getting any younger and these guitar prices aren't getting any cheaper. After years of saving and waiting, I asked myself, if not now, then when? Sweetwater.com currently says the Gibson ES335 Satin Vintage Natural is no longer available. And I was not able to find this specific guitar on Gibson's website either. So I was like, yikes, right? So if you already know, I think we, we all do, these specific guitars have been subject to supply chain issues and have been sold out just about everywhere during and after the pandemic. New Gibson ES335 prices have skyrocketed this year by hundreds of dollars from their recent prices, which hadn't changed in years. Now, after more than a year of casually checking the Gibson demo shop on Reverb.com, lo and behold, it appeared. The guitar of my dreams at a price lower than what I've seen in years, both new and used. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. The guitar was listed as the Gibson ES335 Satin Vintage Natural. As we know, ES stands for Electric Spanish, and the 335 was its $335 price tag when it was released back in 1958. The dot means that the fretboard has dots as opposed to block inlays. Now with 71 watchers and the guitar and several other people's carts on the website, I knew this deal wouldn't last, so I bought it immediately. As usual, ordering from Reverb.com was simple and straightforward. However, much to my surprise and delight, the Gibson Demo Shop shipped the unit with free two-day shipping via UPS. On the Demo Shop website, the guitar's condition was described as used good. Now with this, I expected you know, significant wear and tear because the guitar had been previously owned. The unit arrived two days after it was ordered in that familiar Gibson Brown box. Now, let's check out the unboxing of the guitar.
Let's move on and take a look at my ES335 DOTS specifications. The neck profile is a rounded C neck profile. The neck material is mahogany. The depth at the first fret on the guitar is 0.875 inches and the depth at the 12th fret on the guitar is 0.971 inches. The nut width is 1.7 inches and the nut material is tusk. The overall scale length of the guitar is 24.75 inches and the fingerboard material is made of rosewood. The fingerboard radius on the guitar is 12 inches, which is my favorite. And the guitar has 22 plecked frets and you can feel it when you play it. The action is fantastic. The body type of this guitar is the legendary, of course, ES335, 345, 355, Casino, and 330 body shape. The body material is a three ply maple poplar maple and the finish type is a satin nitro which is my favorite. The tuners are Gibson Deluxe and the bridge is an ABR1. Both the neck pickup and the bridge pickup they are T-type pickups. Now T-type pickups are a replica of Gibson's T top pickups built from 1965 to 1980 but only used on SGs until 1974. The controls are your standard for this guitar type which are two volume, two tones, and a three-way pickup switch. And this guitar came with uh, the strings that is stock tens. The guitar weighs 8.25 pounds and it was built in 2022. Items included with the guitar include a hard shell case. Now this is a very nice hard shell case that cost about $200 separately. A demo shop certificate of authenticity and a Gibson limited warranty. Gibson said that the guitar may have minor cosmetic defects which are listed in the warranty evaluation. Now those defects are as is and are not covered under the limited warranty. Let's move on and talk about the guitar's overall condition. The back of the headstock was stamped demo. Now this is apparently the norm for guitars sold by the Gibson demo shop. Gibson was clear about describing the condition of the guitar prior to purchase. So the condition was listed as good with the following defects. On the finished top, there was minor scuffing and handling wear. On the finished sides, there was scuffing in the binding and on the base side cutaway. On the finished back of the guitar, there was small tangible uh, trash at the mid-waist. On the finished neck, there was a small scratch on the treble side neck heel. Now the case condition was described as there was a seam pulling away in the small lid section. When I read this before buying the unit, I thought at the current price, the guitar would be far more worn and scratched up based on the defect description and rating. When I received the product and inspected it, <laughs> most of the defects described weren't even that noticeable to me. And overall, the guitar looked new. <laughs> I've seen and played many new instruments at Guitar Center that were in much worse shape than my used Gibson Demo Shop purchase. Now, without further ado, let's hear the guitar. First, the guitar is plugged into my favorite amplifier, which is the Fender Blues Junior, and mic'd using a Shure SM57. No effects were used in the sound demo except for a bit of reverb from the amplifier.
In summary, I am more than happy with my purchase from the Gibson Demo Shop. The product description was on point, the shipping was fast, the price was right, and the warranty was good. If you find a great guitar in the Gibson Demo Shop and you can afford to purchase it, I highly recommend purchasing from them. Now I can't afford to make these types of high price purchases often, so when I did, it was so cool to get more than I expected. Well that is a wrap. If you like this presentation, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new presentations coming out every 7 to 14 days and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Also, leave a comment in the comments section below and let us know what you think about this presentation. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. Also, while you're here, please listen to some of the music and check out some of the other videos and especially the playlist because they're designed just for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.